Hey guys, the new Logic 10.32 is out, and um, the main thing with this new update is the addition of the three new percussionist drummers, which were already added to GarageBand in the last GarageBand update. They've now been brought to Logic. There's some other stuff, but this is the main thing, the, the new drummers, so let's check it out. Um, so I'm going to make a drummer track. I'm going to just go with the default genre, rock, and create a, a drummer track as usual, right? Boom. Okay, now, there's some things that are different. First thing, before, with the previous version, when you created a drummer track, you always got two eight-bar regions of drumming on the track. One was like verse drumming, and the other region was like busier chorus drumming. Now you just seem to get just this one eight-bar region of drumming, right? The editor's the same, but what we don't have is the drummer selector that used to be here. Remember there was a panel here? You drop the list down, choose the genre, then you'd see the heads of the different drummers with their name next to them, and you'd click on the one you wanted. All right, that's gone. You choose your drummers now in the library here. Okay, so there's your rock drummers, alternative drummers, songwriter drummers, R&B, electronic, hip hop, and here are the new three percussion drummers. Okay, so let's load one up, Isabella. Okay, now the editor, it's the same as for the electronic drummers, right? It's uh, the, This bit works the same as for the electronic and acoustic drummers. You choose your layer, which pattern is going to play for that layer. Right, you mix and match your patterns, which you click to bring instruments in or out of that layer pattern. And then you adjust the loudness, softness, whether you want it loud or quiet, simple or complex, complexity or, or, or loudness, right? And like the electronic drummers editor on the details page you can constrain the uh, complexity of individual drums you know you set an overall complexity for the pattern complex simple and then individual drums in that pattern can have their complexity restricted to full complexity less complexity hardly any complexity whatever you like it's, it's really versatile um, you've got a humanized control which just gives it more and more feel you know takes it off from being so robotic and the phrase variation really works as well um, Obviously, you need the pattern to be two bars, four bars in length to start to hear those variations, but um, it, it really does add variations the more you turn this up. And those variations are not just in, in other licks that appear, but in velocity variations as well. It's really quite good. And then you've got your fills and your swing as usual, etc. Right. So um, this is Isabella um, playing her Latin kit. Then we got Quincy, pop percussion. And then we got Finn, songwriter percussion. And Finn's really cool. In his kit, he's got a cajon and a foot stomp, and there's some really nice percussion instruments. Uh, now, when you just click and load any of these uh, drummers in their default kind of state they load up a stereo kit just like the acoustic drummers always load up a stereo kit by default um and there's okay so here's isabella for example okay there's the track here's the channel and it's being powered by an excess sampler so here's the excess sampler for isabella with the latin percussion sample set and then for quincy He's playing the studio percussion sample set, and Finn is playing this coffee shop percussion set, right? So by default they play stereo kits, but you've got producer patch kits as well. Okay, now um, the producer patch kits, you've got the three default kits in their producer patch mode, coffee shop, Latin, and studio, but you've got extra ones. Disco, electronic, pawn shop, and retro. Right, and these work the same as the producer patch kits or the, um, for, the, for the acoustic drums uh, or the um, drum machine designer uh, producer patch kits. Um, they're track stacks, right? So, look, this is um, Isabella. Let's have Isabella playing this comma AR pattern. Right, let's just busy it up a bit, right? Okay, and let's load up the producer kit for her, which is the Latin Plus producer patch kit. Boom. And their track stacks. 
So, you know, when we open them up on the track area, every drum has its own individual track. And in the mixer, it's the same as for the producer patch kits for the other drummers. Every drum has its own individual output. Right? There's all the outputs for the, for the drums in this kit. And they're all rooted to these six subgroups. Right? So you've got the six buses. Right? And then you've got the two internal effects returns, or the delay and reverb, and that submix plus the two effects returns are rooted, everything's rooted to the final stereo master there. Right? And the final stereo master is the channel for the main track. Right? Fantastic sounds, great control, obviously, effects, EQ, everything you want, group buses, the full smash. It's it's absolutely superb. And the thing is, when you, when you start loading up these... Um, producer patch percussion kits they are still EXS powered but they use a drum machine designer um, front end so all of the individual new percussion sounds that come with these three drummers are all drum machine designer compliant voices patches which means they can be loaded and used in any drum machine designer kit I've tried it and it works so you can you can have a uh, any you can have a, any of the other drummers, um, electronic drummers, and instead of having the kick drum, you could load one of these acoustic cajon bass drums into the bass drum patch, whatever you like. Yeah, but the bottom line is all these new percussion sounds are all available in the library as drum machine designer individual sounds to load into any drum machine designer kit. You've got this new category called acoustic percussion. There's all the individual sounds that make up all the different producer patch kits for the percussionists. Yeah, fantastic. Really is really, really good. Okay, um Shell. Let's look at some other stuff that's new. We've got the different load with the drummers load from here now, the not not from here. Um there's something else new with the saving and loading of patterns. Now just like with the acoustic and electronic drummers, every drummer you, you load has their preset patterns on the side of the editor here. And you can edit and tweak and make one of your own and then do save preset. A new slot appears at the bottom of the list, you title it and there's two I've created, my lick one and my lick two. That's two custom patterns I made, right? But like how they've done the change with GarageBand, there's a new thing, which is that all the drummer patterns for every single drummer, that's all the acoustic drummers, all the electronic drummers, and all these new percussion drummers, all of their patterns are in a new category in the loop library called Drummer. And these are all drummer loops. These are all the default patterns of every single drummer, electronic, acoustic, or percussion. And you get more patterns for each drummer than appear on the preset pattern list for the drummer on the side of the editor here. So for example, if I go Kyle, load up the default rock drummer, Kyle. Okay, he's got one, he's got eight patterns on the preset list here. But look at his patterns in the library here, in the loop library. Kyle. In the library, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13 patterns in the library. So every single drummer, all of the presets that appear on the side of the editor when that drummer's loaded, they're all duplicated here, but you get a, lots of additional patterns for each drummer. And all the percussionist patterns are in here as well, as well as many, many more percussion patterns. Right? And the beauty of this new system is, in the old days, in the old days, with, in, with previous versions of Logic, if you wanted to get a beat from the drummer, from a drummer track going to accompany something you already created or as a starting point for a composition, you had to do it like this. You had to go, right, let's start with Kyle, load Kyle, go through his presets one by one, auditioning them. Nah, there's nothing doing it there. Right, let's try Logan, load up a different drummer, Logan. Then go through his presets, playing them one by one. No, no, okay, let's try in songwriter, let's try um, Mason, load up the drummer, go through his presets and all that. You have to load the drummer each time, go through the presets, load a different drummer, go through the presets. But now with this new system, <laughs> it's this simple. You just click on the patterns in the drummer collection of loops, 
and every pattern for each drummer plays the correct kit for that drummer. So you just, you just click and audition and you think, yeah, I like that pattern. I like this pattern. Drag it on and it creates the drummer track, loads up the correct drummer for that pattern. <laughs> There's the pattern ready to edit all users is. Yeah, easy peasy. It's just really, really clever. Fantastic. So you can create patterns and save them here in the list for the individual drummer, but that will only be accessible if you actually load that drummer and then go down the list on the editor. Right? Whereas all the patterns can be loaded here and you can create and save patterns to the loop library as well. Let's do that. Let's, let me show you one. So um, I'm going to find a starting point pattern. Let's go with them. Um, Let's go with one of the uh, percussionists. Let's go with this Isabella. Right, there's the pattern I want as my starting point. So drag it in, drop it. It changes the drummer to Isabella, or if there's no drummer there, it creates a track for that drummer. There's the starting point pattern. I'm going to reduce it to four bars. Double click. There it is in the editor. I'm ready to start editing. Right, so I've got a pattern quite complex, but I'm going to restrict the timbales down to quite minimal and bring the bongos down. Not totally minimal, but not so busy. Our bell's a bit busy. Let's restrict its complexity down to just under half. A bit less. A bit less. And a bit more cabasa. Let's have that at quite strong complexity. That's it. There's my new pattern, right? Now I can save it here, save preset, give it a title, it'll appear in that list. But I'll only be able to access that pattern if I load up Isabella and go to her pattern list here. But I can save it into the library, the loop library. Now it doesn't matter what category of loop is showing in your library. You could have it set to all genres, right? Doesn't matter what, what the library is set to. All you do is you tweak your pattern, set it to the length you want, right? I'm going to take the fills off this, right? So I'm going with this four bar pattern I've created, right? And then you just drag and drop it over the library and the mouse has this green plus arrow. Let go and this appears. Now this seems to appear with the percussionists a lot. And it just means there are, there are some events slightly before bar one, beat one. And that's probably because of the um, human noise that's been put on it, right? Now, you don't want to move all tracks, really. It will shift all the other tracks, apparently. Move all selected tracks. So it, just, it will shift this track or something. But or put all upbeat events to position one, one, one. So in other words, anything that was slightly in front of the beginning of this pattern will be put right on beat one, bar one upbeat. Okay, give it a title. Now I'm going to call it Isabella. I want to copy the way it's done in the library, so hyphen, and then I'm going to call it my lick 4. Okay, percussion is already highlighted, and I'm going to give it a subcategory, leave everything else as it is, and uh, create. Unless appears again, upbeat. There it is, done. And now it appears in my loops. There it is. Yeah, it's that easy. <laughs> it's fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. So we got that. Then we got all this new stuff. It's, it's just superb. Absolutely brilliant. Um, 
So look, you know, just show how quick it is to get a groove together with this stuff. Check it out. Let's, um, I've got to start with um, that pattern. Let's have that on there. Now, if Isabella didn't exist, if this drama track didn't exist, right? Come on. Let's say, let's just have a regular software instrument track there, just blank. So I'm auditioning this, or I'm auditioning the ones in the, the, the factory ones in here, right? Whatever, all my custom ones. So let's go with this one, drag it on, and it will create the drummer track with the crack drummer on it. And if you want, you can then tweak the pattern further. Right, there it is. Okay, let's reduce that side so range around to fit that. Okay, um, now what else we got? There's another pattern here. Let's have this one. I created this earlier. This is a pattern from the other percussionist, Finn. Reduce that down, take the fills off. So Finn is using this Cajon bass drum. And then Isabella's over the top. All right, while that's playing, I'll now go to my regular drummer loops. Let's have an acoustic drummer to go with it. So you just um, play and just click these and they'll play along. Perfect, let's have that one. This is Aiden playing a verse pattern. Reduce it down in size, take the fills off. got a little groove going already the percussion stuff really comes into its own when you start laying it on top of other beats you know obviously uh, so well, let's, let's try and make a little bass line to go with that let's uh, whack a bass on here just quickly see if we can get a little old school funky thing going uh, let's have a go uh, let's put lots of tea Yeah, I like that. Let's copy that mm -hmm. over, extend the region out. And uh, this is, you know, it's so quick to get grooves together. Turn that one out, just end on a single note. And then let's have these down an octave. And we've got a little, got a little funky bass line now. Let's try, let's try moving that forward. Yeah, that's okay. So there's a little funky bass line. Some funky disco -y guitar. Uh, all genres, instrument, guitar, genre, funk. <laughs> the one let's have that i'm not going to spend too long on this nice bit of funky guitar <laughs> yeah, and already we've got a funky old school 70s style 
Uh, groove going. All right, it might sound a little bit like old 70s porn music, but <laughs> it's all right. I mean, it's getting there. And then we can just go in and uh, we're just using the basic stereo kits here. So there's my stereo Latin kit. There's my other stereo percussion kit. There's my stereo drum kit. They're all highlighted. Let's create an auxiliary send on all three of them. Go into the next free bus, bus three. And then just turn that send up on all of them. So they're all sending out to this auxiliary return. Right. And now I'm going to whack a compressor. And let's have some real banging parallel compression. Smashed VCA. Let's put the bass through that parallel compressor as well. Just give it a bit of beef. I'll title that comp so we know that's the parallel compressor. There we go. <laughs> oh, a bit of um, reverb on that guitar. Small plate. That's already set. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, it's just, I love these percussionists. They're absolutely brilliant. And this whole new thing of saving your patterns into the library, it's so fast to whack through um, the patterns and just audition, audition, audition. And then every time you click a pattern, it plays the correct drum kit for that drummer's pattern. It's so fast to audition and then just drop it on the track. The drummer loads, bing, you're ready to go. It's just fantastic. And the sound quality of these uh, new percussionist is, is really really good and remember that all uh, the producer patch versions of the, of the percussionist kits gives you all those new drum machine designer presets uh, uh, patches that you can load into any drum machine designer kit to, to get even more creative um, now there is something else we need a bit of audio for this uh, there's been a lot of changes to the um, the alchemy synth but I, I really I don't use it that much so I'm not going to get into that uh, the arpeggiators had some changes that you can um, make steps of the arpeggiator any length you want. Um, but there's something else which I do want to show you. But for this I need a bit of audio. Um, just a bit of audio. Let's see if I find a vocal. There must be a bit of vocal somewhere. Um, No, not that one. Uh, yeah, let's try that. What is this? Them man for stop them thing. Oh, it's a little bit of reggae vocal. Let's mute all these. Yeah, we can't do this with an Apple loop, so I just need any old bit of audio. This will do. Okay, let's just find a bit of a section. Of it. Okay, so here's a bit of the audio here. Right, it's just the, uh, the guy singing some reggae. Um. Then my pick up arms. Now, audio regions can now be adjusted for pitch individually. Okay, and you do it in the region parameter box here. Show. Um, you've got now a transpose and a fine tune. Look, transpose, fine tune. Transpose, you can go up and down in octaves, or just drag and it goes up in semitones or down in semitones, and fine tune goes up or down 50 cents plus or minus, either in jumps of 10 or you can drag in single cent increments. Now, as soon as you adjust the transpose or the fine tune, a little thing pops up saying that flex has been activated for that piece of audio. It doesn't switch flex on at all for the whole song or for the track or anything like that. Just watch. I'll transpose it up a semitone. Boom. And the flex appears here. Right? Done. And now it's pitched up a semitone. In a Syria and also in a in a Syria and also in a in a 
in Assyria and also in a Sudan. Back down again. In Assyria and also in a Sudan. And you got the fine tuning. In Assyria and also in a Sudan. In Assyria. Which is you know, this is incredibly useful for being able to fine tune um, the pitch of audio that might be slightly flat or sharp. You know, but it does turn to munchkin eyes with vocals. Obviously, we start going up semitones. In Assyria and also in a Sudan. <laughs> But good if you work on kids' cartoons. In Assyria and also... I'm Peppa Pig. In Assyria and also... <laughs> in Assyria and also in Assyria... Anyway, you got that. I'll just show you that quickly. Right? There it is. So we got that. You can fine-tune um, the pitch of individual regions. Very, very useful. Fantastic new drummers. New... Um, Drummer, all the drummer loops in the library, save your own in the library, instant auditioning, it's just so brilliant. And there are those other things, but that's all I'm going to show you for now. Um, it really, really has, um, these percussionists, I, I can't say how, it, using these instead of faffing around trying to create your own percussion patterns is just such a godsend. I cannot emphasize that enough, it really is. Because percussion is one of the hardest things to program. In, you know, even if you do come up with some good patterns, to, to give it that the variations that happen over four bars or two bars or eight bars, so it's, it's, it's really difficult and time-consuming to do, but this is such a godsend. And the sound quality is absolutely superb. It really is. So there you go. Um, there's some stuff from the new... Oh, the, the key stuff uh, from the new Logic 10.3.2. And I hope that's useful.